Happy greetings, dearly beloved. My name is Michael Asenso, a pastor and a teacher of the gospel. There is something of great importance that I would love to share with you, and it is my prayer that after you've gotten the truth, you will also likely share with others. There is a cause for us all to be worried, especially those in the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ, concerning the recent spate of name-calling of people supposedly involved in occult, occult practices. Especially among those of the high calling of our Lord Jesus Christ. For Apostle Paul said, Lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Satan is not powerful, as people have claimed him to be. He's cunning. He's smart. He's got wiles, strategies, 419. And so Apostle Paul called the check that we should put on the whole armor of God that will be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. In the year 1990, I had a visiting preacher from Nigeria, Wari, specifically Delta State, Reverend Kofi Sain. And he's now residing in Takrade with the ministry Christian Faith Chapel International. He shared a testimony then with the church way back in 1999 after I visited them in 1996 in Nigeria. And he said, a lady visited them in one of their services. And whilst they were worshipping the Lord, the kinds of prayer, the tongues that she was praying, enthused him because it was deeper, something exciting and strange about it. I suspect that after the service, the pastor spoke with her to know where she was coming from and her visit. She said to the pastor that yeah, she worships with some church and the church is not that powerful. They don't have the word and their prayers are not effective and a lot of things. And praise the pastor for the powerful sermon and the effectual prayer of the church and all there is to say to hype that ministry. The pastor interestingly knew the former church and the pastor who was involved. So he spoke with him about the lady to know who she was. But the pastor did not reveal anything about the church except for the fact that they were excited the lady has even left the church. This lady along the line, because she could play the keyboard and sing, got deeply involved in the church. She was with the prayer warriors. She was with the women's ministry, involved in a lot of things about outreach or evangelism team. She even went on dumb broadcasting and made sure that during her time of dumb broadcasting, preaching the gospel, she would always go around where the pastor is staying and where key members were staying. So they all saw her works and fell in love with the ministry. But along the line, she spoke with a group of youth and told them about the fact that she used to be in the occult. And as she was a witch, she encountered the Lord. But sometimes the spirit do visit her and sometimes she's been having after witchcraft attacks here and there. So she asked the youth to take her through deliverance. This youth group also did not inform their pastor about it, but they took the lady through deliverance. And in the course of the prayer of deliverance, she, in the name of demon manifestation, started saying a lot of things. Calling names, mentioning names of members in the church, who she said were also deeply rooted in the occult, some were witches and wizards. She branded them. So this youth left the prayer meeting after a while, and then they went to inform their pastor. They went to inform the church about their families about it and told the lady to confess. This lady apparently confessed in the church without mentioning names, but said that she was of the occult where she's killed a lot of people, and as she was a witch, and by the grace of God, they've not delivered her, and she's now fully involved in the things of the law. And she said those who are involved in witchcraft and occult in the church should also confess because she know all of them. The youth spoke to the family members. This one is a witch. This one is a wizard. This one is involved in occult practice. And the news spread like wildfire within the church. 
So while the, when any time the church gathers, these people have been branded, whose name has been mentioned with their, their knowledge, were being stigmatized and ostracized without knowing what was happening. By the time they realized people were leaving the church because nobody wants to sit near this person because this is a wizard, this is a witch, this is an alcohol, here and there. And sadly, the church was also tagged outside because the news went outside. And the people said nobody wanted to be part of a church that is full of witches and wizards and occult practitioners. Until they got wind of it, went deep into prayer, and the Holy Spirit revealed to them details of what, had, what was happening. Upon confrontation with the lady, she agreed, confessed, and fled from the church. But she had, they got to know that this was what she did. A similar thing is what she did in her former church. Just suppose it were a recent spate of happenings. There are a lot of people that have come out saying that they, they were former occult practitioners and that they were deeply rooted in occult and by the grace of God they've encountered salvation. Praise the Lord. But they have been mentioning names of people and ministries and tag them as occult. How true this is, none of us know. Are they saying the truth? Are they lying? But my concern is that when they are being asked whether the names of the gospel musicians and the ministers of the gospel, the senior ministers, they have mentioned, if they have met them in any of their temples, their covens, or their meetings, they said no, but we can descend. We have revelations. We know the signs and we know them when we see them. Really? The Bible says, by their fruit we shall know them. And if we have discernment, it's up to the individual. You don't have any proof, yet you are tagging these people as occult. You are branding them as occult and their ministries. Well, I'm not fighting for anyone because there could be an iota of truth in what they are saying. Another worry is why these ministers have not come out to defend their name or take these people to court that they are uh, tarnishing their image and all this kind of thing. Well, maybe they are saying that they are leaving the whole thing to God. Like the harvest day mindset. Let the judge himself deal with it and let us grow together to the harvest day. Should it take people from the occult world to come and reveal to us who is an occult in the church? By their fruit we shall know them. We know them. By the grace of God. But my concern is that the church is being tagged soon and very soon. Every minister that counts in the nation, who is popular in the nation, will be tagged. They are mentioning names. Could there be an oath of truth that this priest could also come out and deny it? Let the church be on our feet. Let the church take our position and begin to deal with these things strategically. The world is coming into the church with this awkward thing. They are branding the church, branding the leadership of the church as occult. Just to make sure that people will lose interest in going to the church so that they will lose their souls. My dear Christian, my dear pastor, my dear friend, if you have sold your soul to the enemy, it is high time you also repented. Because there is nothing good the world or the occult world can offer you. To lose your soul, which is precious, it is my prayer that the church will cut this revelation. For a lot of people are, are ignorantly being initiated into the occult world, into Illuminati, to a lot of things. But these revelations, how authentic are they? I pray the church will cut the revelation. The church will teach the congregation how to recognize. Because Jesus Christ said in the end time, false pastors, false teachers, false preachers will come. Apostle Paul said, for Satan himself has made himself an angel of light. And his messengers are also in that order. The church will rise up and pray. The church will watch and pray. The church should come up with strategies to make sure that our members know them. Beloved, in the name of quick money, in the name of making quick results, in the name of whatever fame, power, and what there is, don't lose your soul. God bless you. Be careful. Bless you. Bye.